Yeah, there was a quote that you give in your TED Talk, and it is, the mathematician does not study pure mathematics because it is useful. He studies it because he delights in it, and he delights in it because it is beautiful. And I think that speaks to a lot of what you've been saying here. And the question that I have for you is, how much do you think of math as like a closed system in itself that has this internal beauty versus something that is beautiful because of its explanatory power and because it has its boots on the ground with reality? Personally, I like it much more when it is clear where those boots are. Um, and I, over time, I think I've been getting increasingly fed up with math that doesn't even try to uh, draw that connection to reality, mainly because if you have um, a desired application or at least the threshold of we need to be related to another field that's not math in order to take it seriously, then you can't move the goalposts and you can't just have a paper that says, here's something that we're pursuing simply because a field medalist once asked the question. Um, and when you can't move the goalposts, it, it forces you to innovate. Whereas if you're just kind of leaning back on the idea of, oh, well, it's intrinsically interesting and, and something, something beauty, something, something not theory, then it, there, there's no clarity on whether what you did required pushing yourself to innovate rather than just taking what was um, readily findable based on like intuitions that you already had and results that were already uh, like primed to be built upon. Um, and the, honestly, I do think there's different categories of mathematicians here where you have some that honestly do not care about application, um, mm -hmm. either because they just love the idea of pure abstraction as a powerful thought mechanism, you know, like people who get really into category theory without any care for application, though a lot of category theorists do care, to be clear. Um, and then you have some that just love puzzles, um, like combinatorists, I think probably disproportionately fall into this category of those who just love puzzles and the kind of puzzles that math brings about. Uh, and it doesn't, doesn't really care if it's touching the world. But there's just a wide swath, especially those who came at it through physics, um, who, who think of math as, as, a, as a tool. And like the reason that it's beautiful is because of its, um, uh, you know, the Eugene Wigner unreasonable effectiveness that, that it provides. And I think the more that time goes on, the more I, I fall into that latter category of really, really needing to see maybe not a direct connection, but it's some semblance of a path towards the real world before I'm, I'm comfortable describing something um, as, as worthy, as beautiful, as uh, uh, like good, high quality math.